everyone, and welcome back to Brenna Jean, Future Doctor. It's me, Brenna Jean. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, make sure to go to at Brenna J Future Doc. I'd love to see you there. And today we are going to be talking about the difference between DO and MD. So what makes them the same, what makes them different, and why I ended up choosing to apply to and attend a DO school. Let's get started. Right off the bat, let's talk about qualifications because I get a lot of questions from friends and family members about what it means to be a DO and there's quite a few mistaken facts out there. So let's be very clear about what's the same. Both take four years of medical school along with three to seven years of residency depending on what specialty they go into. DOs and MDs have the same choice of specialties after medical school. So DOs can do any specialty that an MD can do. Both are licensed to work in all 50 states and both can prescribe medication. Finally, both DOs and MDs utilize research, medical knowledge, surgery, procedures to resolve their patient's issues in the way that they see fit. Now that we've talked about the basic qualifications of MDs and DOs, let's go through just a simple definition for each of those. MD stands for medical doctor or allopathic physician, and this is considered classical Western medicine among medical people. So MD is the standard. It's been around longer than DO, and I think that's why it's more familiar to most people than DOs. Now, DO stands for doctor of osteopathic medicine. The only difference in education between DOs and MDs is that DOs have an extra 200 hours of training added onto their medical education. And this is all around osteopathic philosophy. So osteopathic manipulative treatment, other osteopathic education and philosophy and ethics sorts of things. The four tenets of osteopathic philosophy, in case you're curious, are the body is a unit. So the person is a unit of the body, mind, and spirit. The second is the body is capable of self-healing, self-regulation, and maintenance. Third is structure and function are reciprocally interrelated. I had difficulty saying that. And finally, and probably most important, is that rational treatment is based on an understanding of the basic principles of body unity, self-regulation, and the interrelationship of structure and function. So these are the four tenets of osteopathic philosophy that get included within a DO's education, but not in an MD's education. A lot of people often compare osteopathic manipulative treatment to chiropractic, and this is not the same. Osteopathic manipulative treatment does focus on bones, but it also focuses on joints, muscles, and other areas of the body that we as physicians can actually manipulate and target with our hands to help resolve some patient issues. There is a stereotype that DOs often end up in primary care more than MDs, and this stereotype is kind of true. Around 54% of DOs end up going into primary care, but the thought is a lot of this goes into the education of DOs is very preventative care, structural medicine based, whereas MDs don't necessarily get that sort of focus in their education. Nothing wrong, just a different focus when it comes to what you're learning. Another misconception is that DO schools are not as competitive as MD schools. Let's look at the numbers. For MDs, the average MCAT for matriculants in 2016 was a 510, and the average GPA for matriculants in 2016 was a 3.79. For DOs, matriculants in the same year, the MCAT average was a 502, and the GPA average was a 3.56. Now, to me, those numbers aren't super far off. And if anything, it shows that osteopathic physicians are looked at on a more holistic approach rather than MDs. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Feel free to let me know. So based purely on numbers, yes, DO schools are less competitive to get in but their coursework is still just as rigorous as those of MDs and their placement rates into residencies are often higher. So take that for what you will. Now, how do these specialties interact today? 
Both can work on healthcare teams in any specialty, as I said. The interesting thing is that each have different board examination scores. So MDs take the USMLE step exams and DOs take the COMLEX step exams. Now, what's interesting is that the residency and accreditation programs for both of these for both DO and MD have recently merged for the 2020 year. So DOs and MDs can all be considered for the same residencies within the same match program. Previously, DOs could still be considered for MD programs, but they had to go through a lot more work to go through that application process. And I believe MDs could not apply to DO residencies. So now they are open across the board, but the board exams are still separate. So what the heck? The difference between these exams is that the complex is actually longer and it includes more information, obviously, on osteopathic manipulative treatment and philosophy. There's a lot more of that content centered in the complex exam. Some people also argue that the complex exam questions are a bit more nebulous and allow for more creative thinking and answers, but I haven't taken them yet, so I'll let you know once I get there. In my interactions with DO students during the interview process, I learned that most DO students end up taking both the COMLEX and the USMLE exams because most residency programs are more familiar with the USMLE scoring systems, although step one is throwing a wrench into that, I guess. So it helps them when they are applying for more competitive residency. So why did I choose DO? Pretty simple. Honestly, I really love the osteopathic philosophy. I love the implementation of working with my hands and working with my patients. And I love the overall approach to the education. I myself have always seen myself more in a primary care field, such as obstetrics and gynecology or pediatrics. And I think that my education at a DO school will be very well matched for the specialties that I am hoping to go for. Which one is right for you? Honestly, that's up for you to decide. Both DOs and MD schools are great programs and you'll get a great education at both and you'll get to become a doctor at both. So it's really up to you. What other questions do you have about DO versus MD? Let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to do my best to give you my thoughts. If you liked what you saw today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more pre-med content. And I will see you next time. Bye.